We have taken it for granted that every few weeks or months we will have eruption in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland. Eruptions like this first one in the Sundunka crater chains and this one which cut through the lava defenses and reached the Grindavik burnt a few houses unfortunately and uh, bang in the darkness. This was the beautiful scenes and a chain of craters created by this eruption and phreatic eruptions, which were fascinating for the first time we could see such a thing in this series. And the latest one, which created these very tall Strombolian fountains. Uh, we forgot that this is uh, pulling apart of the Americas and Eurasian plates, and eruption can happen in any of these uh, length of the, these plate boundaries. And it seems that uh, we may have actually witnessed over the past few weeks the slowing down of the uh, magma accumulation under the Swartzengi near the town of the Grindavik, and that just in volcanic systems, Fergadesvill and then the bigger one, Kristovik, are getting active. We see more seismic activity there, and the one in the Swartzengi getting the slowly, gradually calming, slowing down magma accumulation and the GPS data shows that as it slowed down the land rise due to the accumulation of the magma is slowing down we see the trend in this um, and uh, also the Icelandic Meteorological Office latest uh, uh, predictions show that my estimate was that in the uh, probably if we are lucky 10 to 17 of November 2024 we will see that but we have to remember this is a volcanic system situation. The bodenization of the pooling part of the uh, peninsula due to the plate pool will create volcanic systems. These volcanic systems are there for a reason because every one of them has erupted in sequence. So Swartzengi slows down. The next one, which is the Fegadesfjall, and the next one, which is the uh, Christovic may awake and become active. We are seeing the evidence for that. Uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office at the moment just saying that it seems the sourcing magma accumulation and the land rise due to it has slowed down. I go beyond that and say that probably we are seeing the end of this sourcing volcanic system or as we can call it sourcing fires and the start of the Fegadesfjall and the Christovic fires. We have to wait and see. We have up to the November, as I mentioned, to see that what will happen next. Will it erupt or not?